What's up, everybody, and welcome back to some more gods we'll be watching. Remember this shrine from last episode? It said you can sacrifice one, in that case Jack, to get back everyone else. To benefit everyone else, you sacrifice one. I'm assuming it's saying the same thing. You can sacrifice one to, to benefit everybody else. I don't want to sacrifice anybody. Better not mess with something we don't understand. You already saw how powerful these devices are. Let's keep moving. We're almost there. Alright. How are we feeling? Old. Good thing Sarah's the one that has it, I suppose. Uh, Zanez, why don't you take the lead here? Fifteen ignite. Ba wow, that's bad. How much further do we have to go? Oh my goodness. Set the weapon to hold fire. Save some ammo. Keep climbing. Okay. Long ways to go. Uh, Inez. Obviously you're not going to be leading. Liam can lead. Donald can take over the warmth. Change. And Donald take the igniter. And change with Sarah. Sarah can change with Jack. And we can keep going. Okay. Where are we at now? Sam's a little cold. Stamina is declining quickly, but at least Donald's warm. Let's put Dr. Zanez in the center. Take the igniter. Move you to position three. Jack can switch with Sarah. Sarah needs the rest more than Donald does. Alright. Climbing. There is good on the rest. Zanez needs to fall back a little bit to get some more rest. He's pretty close. Liam needs to switch it up as well. Okay, Jack and Liam, why don't you guys switch? Sarah needs the igniter. No, Liam needs the igniter. Change positions with Liam. Liam can take the igniter. Gun is set to hold fire, so take the gun. Make sure it's set to hold fire. Okay. 2,500 to go. Zanez is quite warm. He's good. Jack needs warmth. Liam needs lots of warmth. So we'll get him some warmth. Take away quite a bit of stamina. 
There's not a lot of oxygen up here. That's going to slow us down. Three of them immediately slow down. Wow. Change position with Jack. Donald, change position with Liam. Take the igniter. Denez needs to change position with Liam as well. Jack can get a whole bunch of his stamina back all at once. Take the gun. It's all futile. We aren't saving anything. It's all just a game. Playing is saving the world. My entire career has been nothing but a game. Yeah. Moving at 400? Yeah. 10 units of igniter battery left, huh? We're pushing it. Denez is real close. Liam is really close to his limit. Change with Liam. Sarah? Sarah's okay to lead this one. Donald's okay to be where he's at. I think I want to switch him. Give Sarah some extra warmth. Do we want every life form to be free? I think so. Uh, there we go. Okay. Still going at 400? Still going to 400. We're making good time. Sarah is still doing okay. Jack is definitely doing the best. Inez is doing the worst. Why don't we switch you two? Donald losing 10. Jack losing 12. Sarah losing 15. Yeah, it's, I guess, tough. Okay, change positions with Jack. Give Jack the igniter so he can stay warm. Again and again and again. Burden, 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 always burden. I did, I did exist before him, right? It's been so long, my past seems like nothing but a shadow from so far away. Time and space, what ridiculous concepts when you look at them. The Alt Mahoon are right, humans are just absent insects with unfair firepower. Blasting their way through anything they dislike. But look at this, this mountain doesn't give a shit about humans. I don't get it. Why the, what the hell am I saying? Lost track of my line of thought. Maybe it's the cold, maybe it's the lack of oxygen, maybe both. Blowing down. Still okay. Liam is getting a little cold. Go ahead and take the igniter. Oh, okay, that's a, that's a noises from outside. I heard, well, I don't know, lawnmower motorcycle? I don't know. It was a weird high-pitched motor sound. I thought it was in the game, and I was like, what the crap is going on? No, no, it, it's outside the window. Okay. Change with Donald, and then change with Jack. Inez is good where he's at. Starting to get that feeling. One Agent Amber was investigating at the Ever Dusk. The anomaly. They really just started getting framey all of a sudden. Burden trapped in a time loop. Sometimes the happy ending. Most times having to eat his fucking team because of me. Sometimes it felt right, sometimes it felt unfair. Fate. Decisions being made for us by some grand force of nature. Our bodies, but avatars of some galactic wish. 
keep doing these ridiculous things. We'll die again and again and again. We'll try to make it with everyone alive. We'll try to get it done in very short time. We'll try to climb the peak while using none of the doctor's shots while having Donald lead the team or while rejecting all the Ult Mahoon Shrine offerings. I know why. Everything sounds absurd. What am I even saying? I feel drugged. Lack of oxygen mixing everything in my mind. I don't even know what's real and what's not anymore. If there's anything real at all. It's just a human concept, right? Rai Ot Mahun Mir Lao Recorders. Don't fuck it up this time, one bad Terran. Really? Whatever. Jack and Sarah are a wee bit tired, that is for sure. Looking at 240. Old. One in particular. People that are cold are also the people that are tired. Donald's doing okay. Change positions with... Jack. Jack can get a little bit of stamina recovery there. Positions. Five. Go. Jack doesn't lose quite as much. Fifty, we got three ninety-nine to go. Status. Warmth, we're gonna be fine on. Liam is perfectly warm too. Tired. I guess Doctor Zanez take the lead. Liam rotate with Jack. Rotate. Very back, Jack, take the igniter. Six on the igniter battery. Go ahead and set the weapon to single round shot. We're gonna get there, right? Yeah, we got there. All right. Everyone's warm. We're a little tired, but otherwise we're just fine. Go ahead and put Zanez back in the back. Take the gun off of him. You're a better shot. Take this from me. All these years fighting. I can see one of those shrines in the distance. I thought that was the last shrine that we were just at. Aha! Made it. Finally, we did it. This is what you were looking for, Shaman? Yes. It's even more powerful than I had imagined. Moon rise exceptionally high. Almost in direct contact with the stars. The inscriptions on the slab device. I believe this is some sort of cage for humankind. It says Brimjiva Fborgao Indrogao Asmid. All the paths for humans are war. Follows every war ends here. Gao shall protect them all. Gao? Protect every war, you mean? Damned Polyvent word. That's all. But I bet our gal here is Burden. I can feel him as if I had him in front of me. I can try and release the du Dunrai's power if you want. Burden's the only thing the Dunrai holds. Key for humankind's cage, or best said, its guardian. Do it. Let's end this once and for all. Boop. 
back. Epilogue has certainly explained a great deal. Damn, Jack, you're here. We're here, Sergeant. I know we'd follow you to the end of the universe. You should clearly stop, Jack. Not doing you any good. Take a look at yourself. Son of a bitch just came out of an alien time warp device and he's already picking on me. Burden. Tell us what the hell is happening. Last thing I remember is kicking your ass on the matriarch. Now you're here looking at me with tender eyes. Give me a break. For us, it's been 20 years, my beloved arch enemy. Place. We're in an uncharted place in the universe. Land of the Old Mahun. I believed in your last words, Burden. About how you'd already witnessed it all. About how you'd faced the same moral dilemmas again and again. The Xenolifer fell quickly after you defeated us. The Constellar Federation stopped pretending to be a friendly democratic nation. And over the course of just a few years, they managed to enslave every alien race. And even started enslaving humans. Dollar assholes went that far, huh? So I spent the next 20 years investigating your anomaly and trying to find you. And I finally did it. With the help of your old unit, you have great teammates, Burden. Why did you do that? What, I can, what can I possibly do to change anything? I just told you. 20 years ago, I told you I'm done. I don't want to keep saving the universe. I don't even know what that means anymore. Can't you see already there's nothing to be saved? All but a joke from the gods. I spent the last 20 years of my life looking for you for one simple reason. I tell you, you were wrong. I don't care if you don't want to save the universe anymore. I don't care if it means nothing to you. Fuck you, Burden. What I need you to what I need you to do is to go back and let us win. I've come this far to tell you your fight paid off with a sick world and a global dictatorship. You won. Congratulations, Sergeant. But you fucked it all up. Now it's our turn. I want you to go back. Say to me that you're sorry and let us free Gactus 7. Maybe we can set things in motion and enjoy a free universe once and for all. Am I clear enough? Heh. <laughs> oh, it feels good not being the one telling others what to do for a change. Right about not killing you. Thank you, Liam. Here is Xena Life will lead us. But I can shoot or not. Or just like not do anything. Good luck kicking my ass again. deserve the title of legend. How did you? Far better warrior than me, Liam. I just won because I fought you a million times before. The time I've beat you. I keep saying things like that, but I don't get what you mean. I don't know when this started, or if it's ever going to end. But every time I die, I keep waking up in a desert. I never remember anything. The moment I remember is who I truly am is here, in outer space. Someday I'll put all the pieces together and we'll be able to break free. Probably when the last of the gods stop watching. Met you in the future, Liam. You came looking for me. You learned all about this anomaly. Travel to the end of the universe just to tell me I was wrong. What the... I hope that if I beat you, if I save this wicked world at least one time, get the meaning of it all sense of saving lost its meaning after so many tries. It's the only insight I can share with you after all this cyclic script. Cyclic script. The universe is just a joke. Sorry, Liam. I don't really get what you're talking about. If I traveled through time and space just so you would let me win, that just dispels all the doubts you planted on me with your fists. Do this, Burden. Shake the foundations of the Constellar Federation. You don't get it. I don't really care. I've told you millions of times, but you never remember. 
fine. Yes. Find the universe you long for. Thank you, Burden. Bye, Liam. Well, all right then. I guess the epilogue explains a little bit more about the game. It explains why your choices have absolutely no meaning. Because they do have meaning, just not in the world that you're playing as the player. The world that you're playing as the player is a very specific timeline. And you must follow that timeline, and all other timelines are... Not, well, they're not the timeline that you get to see. This makes sense. But. I feel like this really needed to be in the original story. I think all this bloodshed has been meaningless. I mean, Liam. I spent half of my life leading the fight against the Stellar Federation. We hit them hard, and hope keeps our soldiers fighting. We're free. Every alien race fighting on our side is free. Our freedom is built on top of an endless fight. Price has been a universal war that has been going on for two decades. Shouldn't have convinced Burden to carry Xenolife for plans. My only hope now is that we can change the past and avoid this apocalyptic universe we created. Uh that's always meaningless. I really believe you'll bring peace to the universe sooner or later. Getting closer. Ship scanners are getting really weird readings. Not only the ship, Liam, I'm feeling an immense power calling us. Calling us? You mean it's alive? Well, in a figurative way, so it's not alive. No, it's not alive. Stop making fun of my powers. <laughs> it's been too many years, my friend. I can see through your charade. I might like to be a little grandiose. But the fact is that I can feel something, Liam. And it's been ages since I felt something like this. What do you mean? The old Mahun. No way. You think we're about to meet the survivors from the Constellar Federation massacre? I don't think so. My ancestors were all exterminated by the Federation, I'm certain of that. But there are other ways of meeting them. What if we've been researching this is true? Burton's time anomaly, the nebula, ancient Agent Amber's discoveries. Everything will finally make sense. Since the Ultmahoon were the only known life form able to manipulate time. Holy shit. Look, Shaman. A nebula. But I'd live to witness this. Liam, this is not just a nebula. This is the nebula. Of the god of the Ultmahoon. Old Morale, the Scholar of Paths. Ruler of Memory and Will. Pretty cool sounding title for a god, mate. Warn the team. Go inside that god of yours. Oy, oy, oy. The Cage for Humans. Age for humans. I bet everything's gonna happen all at once as soon as I click the mouse button. Yep. It's like four o'clock. So tired. DLC and easy difficulty. Original. Get to the peak with everybody alive. <laughs> Grand love for Donald. Fair enough. Didn't sacrifice anyone. Hooray! You warp shaman. 50-50. See, I, I don't see it as granting love for Donald. I don't see it as taking away the choice for Sarah. Because of the game. It. I literally just said... 
instead of this timeline, we're going to be on this timeline. We just jumped world lines. That's it. For any of you familiar with Steins Gate, we just jumped world lines. The true world line, I have no clue what the what it is. Absolutely no clue what the true world line is. And the game doesn't really let us go and figure out what the true world line is. There's no way to tell. But... I mean, granting love for Donald, that's just... That's one divergence to create a different world line. That's no... It's not taking away choice or granting love. It's... It just is. Well, Finn. Well, I guess that's it. You guys have heard my opinions on the game already. So, I guess that's uh, it's gonna end the episode and end the series. As always, guys, thank you for watching, and I will not see you next time, because the gods have been watching. <laughs>